So while I'm waiting for my steel and conveyor belt rubber for my half ton Amtrak here, I decided to scheme another DIY kit. The four ton amphibious tractor. Vityaz inspired. If you've never seen the uh, Vityaz family of vehicles in action, just YouTube uh, DT10 Vityaz, DT30 Vityaz. You'll be able to see, they do some pretty cool stuff. They got amphibious capabilities. They can get through the muckiest of muck. They're probably the closest thing to an all-terrain vehicle de devised by man. So, really neat machines, and that's basically what I'm uh, basing my this the 4-ton off of. And like I said, I'm trying to keep it economic too, just like the Amtrak. What I'm thinking with the Amtrak, so far I've calculated with the, uh, when you get all the steel, all the track steel, um, sprocket teeth, conveyor belt rubber, fasteners, I'm looking at around a $3,200 kit price. But with the, this guy, it's going to be a little more expensive just because of the amount of material involved, but I want to keep it under eight grand. we will see how that goes. So then that way, once the customer purchases all the other parts, like the tires, the engines, the, you know, all that fun stuff, hopefully it'll be around 16 to 18 grand total. Because it just seemed like there would be a market, niche market, I'm not trying to take the market by storm here, but it will be a really cool vehicle to uh, develop and see how that goes. I mean, here's just the, here's the rear car dimensions, kind of like the cargo hold. 88.5 inches wide, 128 inches long. Heck, you can almost fit my Toyota Corolla in that. And you could almost carry it too because of the weight. Because you can carry, <clears throat> excuse me, three and a half ton in the back and then half ton in the front. So, from a uh, low distribution standpoint, while also getting 15 inches of freeboard, so it can take some choppy surf too. But it's not going to be a small machine, even though it's still considered a mini Vityaz, because a real Vityaz is actually 50 feet long. It's one of the largest track vehicles in the world. This one's going to be 27 feet long, assuming a uh, coupler length of 3.5 feet. Kind of get a good gauge of the uh, contact lengths there. But just like the real deal, it'll have uh, steering cylinders, but also vertical pitch control. So you can climb higher obstacles, vertical obstacles, and also when you're transitioning from either the shore to the ocean or the ocean to the shore that'll help out too like I said it's quite a big machine 88.5 inches wide by 30 inch wide tracks but the nice thing is a lot of the components are going to be reused from the amphibious tractor besides uh, the tracks the tracks are kind of developed especially using a uh, the actual Vityaz tracks as a model. I kind of stamp these guys out real fast out of 14 gauge. Obviously they'll be a lot thicker. The actual cross member, the stamped cross member will be 12 gauge. And this uh, road surface plate will actually be 8th inch AR450 for uh, abrasion resistance. But yeah. So basically, yeah, just like the Amtrak, you'll get all these stamped components, plasma cut, uh, pre-processed, prefabricated stuff. You'll just have to weld it together, bolt it together, and then also supply the powertrain. In regards to the powertrain, I kind of had an idea. This will actually use a, a transverse arrangement, so like a front-wheel drive car. Basically, you'll just take the transverse mode aspect of it, flip it longitudinally, and then you'll have an inner differential right here. And then what you can do is you can split your power from your CV shafts. I would keep the brake rotors and calipers for traction control as a poor man's traction control. But basically, those would go to your typical rigid rear axles for each uh, drive sprocket end. Which will also take a lot of the grunt off of a weak powertrain, say from a uh, Honda Civic or a Toyota Corolla. Obviously, that what that means though is your gear reduction is going to be really low. So top speed is only going to be like 23 miles an hour. But for a machine with no suspension, you probably don't want to go any more faster than that anyways. But yeah, that's what I'm kind of scheming. I think it'll be a really neat machine once I get it off the ground. And then if others are interested, I'll definitely be able to supply steel kits. 
I'm hoping for eight grand. That's obviously not including shipping costs because this is going to come in on uh, lots and lots of pallets. Probably eight or nine pallets worth of, uh, well, not that much. Probably seven pallets worth of material just because of all the uh, plate steel and the tubing that have to go into the superstructure itself. But, yep. Just like the Amtrak, I think it'll be a really nice uh, evolution for the trash vehicle market from a DIY kit standpoint. But that's all I have for now, and hopefully next time I'll have more progress on my uh, half ton project here because I'm just getting really, I'm getting really annoyed about the uh, timelines here from uh, my steel fabricator. So I'll have to give them a mouthful to get that thing going. But yep, yeah, until next time.